Okay, in this presentation, we are going to look at the fundamentals of Bayesian statistics. Now, essentially what we're going to do here is start off with the fundamentals, including Bayes' theorem and conditional probability. So, uh, coin is biased so that the probability of throwing a head is an unknown constant P. That's the first thing there. It is known that P must either be 0 0.4 or 0 0.75. Prior beliefs about P are given by the following distribution. So we believe that the probability of P being 0 0.4 is 0 0.6. And we believe that the probability of P being equal to 0 0.75 equals 0 0.4. Okay. Now this is the probability of a probability taking um, a certain number having a different probability. It's a bit of a... Tongue twister but uh, requires a bit of lateral thinking, but just actually let's just take it at face value. The coin is tossed six times and four heads are observed. So essentially we're going to be using the binomial distribution here. Now the question asks us, calculate the find the posterior distribution of P. So the posterior distribution is the probability of P uh, for example, being 0 0.4, given that there was four heads, okay, and that is using the conditional probability formula and base here. That is the probability of four heads, uh, given that the probability was 0 0.4, uh, the assumed probability is 0 0.4, times the probability that the assumed probability is 0 0.4, all over the probability of four heads, okay. So essentially, this is this a straightforward expression of the conditional probability formula. Now, so and using Bayes' theorem and so on. So essentially, what we have to do here is uh, work out both of these. Okay. So it is we do it for the case of zero point four, and also we'll do it for the case of zero point seven five, which actually will turn out to be the complement of whatever we work out here so we just need to work out one so we'll just work out the probability of 0 0.4 okay so but what we need to do is start off with to start off with is find out the probability of four heads okay and that is equal to the probability of four heads uh, given that the, the assumed probability is 0 0.4 times the probability that the assumed probability is 0 0.4 remember this is uh, two binomial probability questions essentially remember it's just remember it's a, it's a not a fair coin okay so we have to work it out for both okay four heads given the assumed probability times the probability of that assumed probability so a uh, straightforward uh, calculation of the binomial probabilities there uh, from 6 choose 4 times 0 0.4 to the power of 4 times 0 0.6 squared okay and that and the probability of the assumed probability being 0 0.4 that is 0 0.6 likewise a binomial expression over here but binomial probability from 6 choose 4 0 0.75 to the power of 4 times 0 0.25 squared and this is working on the basis that the assumed probability is 0 0.75, which has, and we, the probability of that is 0 0.4, okay? So, straightforward calculations here, 0 0.13824 times 0 0.6 plus 0 0.29663663 times 0 0.4, okay? And working that out, we shall get probability of four heads equals 0 0.2159 okay you don't uh, i'm sort of generous with the number of decimal places just to sort of make it easier easier for you to sort of check how close you are in your calculations okay i'm just restarting here because i just spotted an error so essentially what we have to do here is just use the Bayes theorem and conditional probability formula again essentially what we need is the probability of the assumed probability being equal to 0 0.4 given that we have four heads this is the posterior pro uh, distribution 
and the that is the probability of p equals 0 0.4 and four heads divided by the probability of four heads so this expression here which i just rewrote is essentially this up here okay and we know that to be 0 0.8 0, 0, 0.08294 divided by 0 0.20095. So, so that works out to be uh, 0 0.4113. For, uh, 0 0.41143. Okay. Actually, I have some extra decimal places here. So the, the posterior distribution of P is given by that and that. That's the full answer there. Okay. Probability of. The assumed probability being 0 0.4 is 41%, and the complement is the that the is that the probability is 0. Point, the assumed probability is 0 0.75. What's the probability of that? It's the complement, so 0 0.588564. Okay, so that is sort of setting up this notion of prior distributions, posterior distributions, and so on, and sort of getting us used to this um whole way of thinking this is the prior distribution there and down there we have the posterior distribution updated uh, given the data that we observed okay all right we'll leave it there